Good day, folks. Omar Jose. Sarah Sam Peace. Good morning, Ishmael. Israel. Together is Romeo. Uh, for those who are curious about why I'm animate about certain things when it comes to sexuality, pedophilia, how the police uh, don't care about justice. Uh, a lot of things why I post. Uh, and then things that affect children. You know, things that affect children. And I'll just share my experience. And contrary to belief, every child uh, uh, is not always raised in hate, even though they live in the projects. Uh, and I used to live in the projects. And I like the people who live in the projects. There's good people there. There's good women, there's good men, there's good children there. There's intelligence there, there's, there's art, there's music, there's everything in the projects. Today, I know everything that's in the project has been ciphered out, distributed and marketed and branded by the creator of the project. We have subjects, objects, discussions, colleges and stuff like that to secure that project and enhance that project and let that project enhance itself called perpetual, perpetual movement. So, back to my, my experience, back to this perpetual thing. When I was younger, I seen homosexuals, because I had some of my family. But I didn't know, I had no care or desire about it just was like not part of my nature if that makes sense in other words like they said oil and water don't mix so why would you know it just they just don't go together so I knew that you know I didn't even have to know it just don't go together nobody had to tell me that and uh One day, and I used to play baseball. You know, I was in sports and dogs, sports and dogs, and art, and music, break dancing, and the girls, of course. <laughs> and so, uh, my, my best friend's little brother, Trey, because everybody treated, trusted me with their little brother. My mom trusted me with, my, with her, with my little brother. You know, so I've always been trustworthy about running, running young ones. So, me and my Drake, we decided to go down to a place called Kennar Field. Now, some of y'all know about this story. So, I ain't going to say the name because the, the, one of the guys is, is dead. And I don't know if the dude, the victim, is alive. So, for the sake of the respect of the both families and the, you know, whatever the case may be and their children, I'm not going to bring up any names. But uh, there was a stage down here. And there used to always, they used to always have this little function down in Kenner Field for the children, and, you know. And it was a community thing, and it was it used to be wonderful. I mean, it was nice. Now this is where I used to live, we're in court. It was called the Men's Circle then. I mean, it was called we're in court then, but you know, before the, the gang bang stuff came, it was called the Men's Circle. And so. Uh, Rest in peace, bro. I used to play football in the back of his mom's window, equipment football. But anyway, uh, so we down kidding our me and my man Dre just said I go down our field, and he's all these guys down there already playing. And so me and Dre were going over there to see what's going on, and we seen the, the bully of the community, and there's you know the people that followed. You know what? You know, back then bullies. 
had their little followers and stuff. And so this particular bully uh, grabbed this little boy and made him, you know, do some unnatural stuff to him, you know. And they pissed on him and stuff. And uh, me and Dre looked at each other, man, and we just ran. But we didn't want to get in no fight for one. And two, we was out number. And three, you know, we young. We maybe like 11, 10 years old. Dre got to be about seven or eight. That was 12. But Dre's about seven or eight. Wong is about my age. What's up, Wong? You around? Hope you're all right, bro. Sister, don't. Uh, we don't have, we don't know nothing about that. We we're not even friends with those guys, you know. We were because you know, you know I, was, I was living on Burroughs, I think. Yeah, I was living on Burroughs, three ninety two Burroughs. Dre didn't live right across the street, and. Uh, Yeah, me and Dre, we ain't had nothing to do with nothing. We, ain't, we, we and these guys, they live at the other part of the boroughs. But this, you know, the one, the one guy, I don't know what's his name. He lived close by too. You know, about me, Dre. Uh, the bully did. And so, uh, you know, we like I said, we ain't had nothing to do with nothing. And Dre went and got a little candy, went to the candy store, went to, went to the country store, folks. You know, we went to the country store, got some, we get some candy, man. And uh, the next day, no, I was over where I'm for it. Yeah, I was. I remember now. But the next day, I think on two days later, you know, uh, Police came and took me to jail. You know, told me I was a part of a rape. And I'm like, what? I mean, I'm like, I'm, I'm a child. And I'm like, what, what you talking about? You know? Me and my bro, me and my man, seen something and we ran. So lo and behold, uh, come to find out. The charges got dropped down to uh, not reporting the scene of a crime. Check that out. I'm 12 years old. I'm on probation for not reporting the scene of a crime. I remind you, I got homosexuals in my family. So what they do and how they live is none of my business. You know what I mean? I, I don't, I'm not familiar with it. I've never seen it before. I, you know, all we knew, me and Dre, all we knew was these guys just around another guy and, and we just going to go get some candy. We just having fun and we just going about our business. So we just went our own way. You don't sit there and go talk to the bully. You know, if you know the guy's a bully, you don't go over there and try to make friends with him. You, you, you go your own way. Not that you're scared, you just go your own way. That's what me and Dre did. But man, I got caught up in the system at 12 years old. You know, and it was a ju I think it was Judge, I forgot the judge's name. But he told me, he said, this changed my life forever. He told me, he said, every human being got three seconds to make a decision. Those three seconds is called premeditation. One, two, three. 2001, 2002, 2003. If it took you that long to make that decision, you already knew what you was doing. It's a huge heads up for some of you folks that say, well, I don't know what I was thinking when I did that. Oh, if you had three seconds to to conjure it up and then act it out. Yeah. And I applied that too and seeing that that was true. 
and uh, I never respected authorities ever since then. Shooting center all the, all the time. Shooting the group group homes. I was in sister when I was at home. You know, I'm saying my mom was a bad parent. The choices that I made when I was 12, 13 was like, man, how you gonna put me in jail? I'm playing baseball, football, basketball, tennis, okay. right. drawing, right. doing my dog thing. Well, good morning, uh, uh, I should go Thinking about the family, I y'all see about the family at, the, at that age. I just want to, so you probably tell you, well, I see homophobic, is you anti-police, nothing. No, it's not that I anti-anything. It just, your wickedness and your deception of life and your perception of right or wrong creates uh, things in young people. All of us are guilty of that. This is now we know it, we just practice of not doing it to other people. Just because it was done to me, don't mean I have to do it to you. You know, because that experience was messed up. You know, I don't have to perpetuate the anger and the discontent and discomfort that it brought me. But also it's a good thing because now, you know, we, we learned a lot of stuff and we're getting making this video. So until next time, this is Omar Jose saying peace. You know. Uh, and I, I know somebody else got a worse experience than mine. So but we could take our 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 back our wounds and use them as our armor and share with the people who had to get over it and to be victorious over it. I think we as a so-called black community, we're beginning to heal slowly but surely. But it start with the self. So I'm gonna practice if you're gonna practice. And I hope you see you in the middle. Peace.